Surge pricing coming soon to a grocery store near you. Because we really do live in the bad place. Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib is going after grocery giant Kroger for its plans to implement facial recognition technology and digital price tags, also known as electronic shelf labels, which allow for grocery prices to be changed dynamically on the spot. Now, in case you're not familiar, Kroger owns a huge number of grocery chains all over the country. And if you don't see your local chain here, it's probably because it's owned by Albertsons, which is trying to merge with Kroger in a deal that has become the subject of multiple state and federal level antitrust lawsuits because it would result in pretty much all non-Walmart grocery chains nationwide being owned by a single company. So these new practices of Kroger's are likely to affect all of us if this deal actually goes through. Kroger's following in the footsteps of Walmart, which has been testing digital price tags that allow prices to be adjusted in as little as 10 seconds. So they can literally change between the time you pick a product up off the shelf and arrive at the cash register. And you should really pause to read this bottom part because it is diabolical. To leave is rightly concerned about the potential impacts these electronic shelf labels will have on the already exorbitant prices of groceries. Prices that Kroger admitted under oath that it artificially jacked up under the guise of inflation in court testimony pertaining to one of the very antitrust trials I just mentioned a moment ago. That price gouging, also known as greedflation, has resulted in all-time high grocery profits, by the way. But Kroger, of course, like Walmart before it, has promised that it will not use the electronic shelf labels for surge pricing. And surely they can be trusted. In her letter, Tlaib also called out that, quote, the use of facial recognition tools has the potential to invade a customer's privacy and employ biased price discrimination, unquote. Price discrimination is a term for the use of data to charge different customers different prices. The most infamous case of this is Uber and Lyft. And if you've ever wondered why you and a friend get completely different prices for the same trip, well, there you go. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see that at the grocery store. Facial recognition technology is also notoriously discriminatory. One study found that facial recognition algorithms misclassified black women almost 35% of the time while nearly always getting it right for white men, which is similar to what the government's research has found. So it's pretty hard to argue that Congresswoman Tlaib doesn't have a point about being furious about all this. Major grocery chains, which in much of the country is the only grocery stores people have access to, can say whatever they want about these changes, but the intent is obviously to squeeze every last penny of profit from every customer, many of whom are already struggling to afford groceries as it is. All while, and I cannot stress this enough, grocery chains rake in record high profits via price gouging. And this is the point where I remind you that in a couple weeks, you have the opportunity to exercise your vote. For politicians who are actually trying to hem in these major corporations, instead of giving them carte blanche to continue gleefully gouging us at will.